Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll see how to create a simple OSC integration to show a greeting message. To do this, first we are going to create an integration. So to create an integration, click on create, select the app driven orchestration, click on select and provide the name as you wish. Here I am giving the name as hello. No need to give any other information. Directly just click on create. And here we are going to use the rest trigger connection, which we created in the previous video. So select the trigger connection from the drop down list. Provide the name as rest trigger click on next and no need to give anything here in the description if you want you can and here we need to give the url here i am giving it as slash names slash within the flower braces we need to give it as enter name so here we are creating the input parameter so Basically, I just want to brief what this integration do here. We are going to create an integration which is having an input parameter with enter name and we will take that uh, value that was entered in the parameter and we are going to concatenate it with the some constant message or a text message and we are going to show that message in the response so for that reason we have taken this enter name as an input parameter this will be the template parameter for this integration as you created the template parameter the review parameter will be added automatically with a checkbox check now we are going to configure the receiver response or integration to configure this check this checkbox then click on next as you see, the enter name is already created in the template parameters. Click on next. Now, you need to provide the response for this integration. To do this, select the payload option as JSON sample. In the inline, you need to provide the sample JSON. Here, I am providing the sample JSON as in the double quotes okay. message hi click on ok then click on next click on done so this will configure you the press trigger connection so I'm just changing the layout and you can see here with one error. So this error is basically that it requires the tracking parameter. For any integration, the tracking parameter is a mandatory thing. So to assign the tracking parameter, click on this hamburger icon, click on tracking. As we have a template parameter as an enter name that is our input parameter so we will be using the same variable or a parameter to track this integration so select that and just move it to the right side and then click on save so now save it as we discussed earlier in this video we are going to concatenate the input value with the constant greeting message to do this click on plus select assign and name the assign as messages and click on create and now create one variable with a message so i am going to create a variable with message and for this variable i am going to assign the concatenated value so to assign the concatenated value go to functions
in the string you will find the concatenation function so this is a concatenation function move it to the right side once you move it to the right side you will see string 1 and string 2 so here string 1 i am putting a default value as high as a constant value high space and in the string 2 i will be concatenating it with the template parameter name whatever the value that comes from the template parameter or the input parameter that is enter name so i am just concatenating high with that enter name and then i want to concatenate it with one more message has welcome to oic in the single course this high also should be in the single course and uh, this should not be required to be in the single quotes click on validate click on close click on validate click on close now we have created the variable and this variable will have the assigned value of uh, the input variable and the constant value now we are going to assign this uh, variable value to the response to do this click on this mapper click on edit here your right hand side would be the target and the left hand side would be the source so our source is the message variable and our target is the response wrapper message so we are going to map the both so just map it click on validate Once it's got validated, click on close, click on save. So this completes the creation of integration. Just close the integration. Now you need to activate this integration to run it. To activate this integration, click on this active button, click on activate. So this will activate your integration. Just refresh for the status update. So now your integration got activated. Now click on this run button to test the integration. So click on test, provide the name. Here I am giving it as Vishwanath. Click on test. So you will see a message as Hi Vishwanath, welcome to OIS. This is how we can concatenate the two strings or three strings in integration. Thank you.